Shanti and now we are doing the recording of 24th of July that is Sunday today's godly blessing where supreme father wants us to finish the consciousness of mine mine my this my that and that is going to help us to become a fearless being let's understand how god says may you finish mine mine and die to the old world as a fearless trustee so this old world has got tensions and stress and depression why because we have so many wants and desires and we have so many expectations from others which don't get filled and why because we call them mine my child my son my daughter my husband my brother in law my brother my sister so they, if they are mine then obviously the expectations are going to go very high and when they're not fulfilled then the trouble starts so here god says people are afraid of dying isn't that true whereas you have already died we have body consciously died and soul consciously we are awakened that is what we learn in brahma kumaris you are living in a new world for us when we are soul conscious our third eye or the sixth sense is open and we stop looking for answers from these five senses in life in this physical world and we have the inner world awakened the non physical world awakened through spirituality then our life changes then we are physically dead not literally dead but desires from the physical world the physical body are dead just taking care of the physical body in order to feel happy and content and also have feel that we are satisfied is not a permanent happiness or contentment or satisfaction that's what we learn and then we start focusing on the non physical self that is a supreme self that is a supreme self of purity of bliss and love and happiness and when we do so we start living a different life so god says you are living in a new world you have died to the old world that means old ways of thinking old habits and old desires therefore why would those who have already died be afraid of dying they would be naturally fearless however if there is the slightest trace of mine mine then maya maya means lust anger greed ego attachment jealousy laziness postponement and many other things many weaknesses then maya the cat god is calling maya all these negative traits as cat will meow that means should i come mai aaun should i come and trouble you with angry thoughts with greedy thoughts with jealous thoughts with postponement thoughts with laziness thoughts and make your life miserable mai aaun so god says people are worried about dying about their things and their family whereas you are trustees nothing is mine i'm just taking care of things even if i go away over here nothing is going to stop after i go things are going to carry on the world doesn't depend upon me so the things in the world the house the money and other things are going to carry on so god says whereas you are trustees even those bodies do not belong to you this physical body also doesn't belong to us so that means we are going to a very higher spiritual realm a higher spiritual understanding and so you are detached and do not have the slightest attachment even to a body a body or even to a bodily relations so obviously we become trustees and we don't feel threatened we are fearless and that's what we learn in brahma kumaris the godly spiritual university how to become a trustee how to become fearless by being soul conscious you too can learn it with this om shanti